What is the real Spain that only the locals know about? In the heart of the Mediterranean, under the eternal sunshine, there's a place that dances to the rhythm of flamenco and the clink of tapas plates. A place that everyone thinks they know, Spain. But beyond the flamenco, tapas and the golden beaches, there's a Spain that is often missed by the tourist eye. A Spain that is deeply etched into the lives of its people. A Spain that is real. The real Spain isn't just a destination, it's a way of life, a symphony of experiences that go beyond the cliches. It's the chatter of locals in the bustling markets, the smell of fresh bread wafting from a panaderia, the sight of grandmothers knitting in the plaza, and the taste of home-cooked paella shared with friends. It's the small moments that make up everyday life, moments that tourists rarely get to witness. The Spain that tourists see is beautiful, no doubt, but it's only a small part of the picture. The Spain that the locals know is not confined to the flamboyant flamenco shows or the crowded Costa del Sol. It's found in the quiet siestas in the afternoon, the lively chatter in the neighborhood bar, the family gatherings on Sundays, the festivals that fill the streets with color and life. The real Spain is hidden in plain sight, waiting to be discovered. It's found in the traditions passed down through generations, the rituals that mark the passage of time, the cuisine that tells a story of its people, and the genuine warmth of its people. It's found in the little things that make life worth living. So if you're looking for the real Spain, look beyond the guidebooks and the tourist trails. Look for the Spain that lives in the hearts of its people, the Spain that dances to its own rhythm, the Spain that is seen but often unseen. Stay tuned as we uncover the secrets of the real Spain. Spain is a country rich in traditions, but do you know their origin? Let's delve into the world of Spanish customs, where every ritual has a story to tell. Let's start with the famous La Tomatina. This is no ordinary food fight. It's a tradition that originated in the small town of Binol in the mid 20th century. The locals celebrate it on the last Wednesday of August, painting the town red with overripe tomatoes. It's a wild, exuberant spectacle that brings the community together in a unique way. Next, let's head to the coastal town of Valencia for Las Falas. This five-day festival in March celebrates Saint Joseph, the patron saint of carpenters. The locals create massive, intricate sculptures known as ninos, out of cardboard, wood and papier-mâché. These works of art, often satirical, are set ablaze on the final night in a breathtaking display of fire and celebration. But not all Spanish traditions are flamboyant. The siesta, a mid-afternoon nap, is a cherished practice rooted in Spain's agrarian past when workers took a break from the scorching sun. Today, it symbolizes a slow-paced lifestyle and the Spanish emphasis on work-life balance. And who can forget El Gordo, the Christmas lottery? With its roots dating back to the early 19th century, it's the oldest and largest lottery worldwide. But it's more than just a game of chance. It's a shared event that brings families and friends together, spreading holiday cheer. Finally, let's talk about running of the bulls in Pamplona, a tradition that dates back to the 14th century. Despite its controversy, it's an adrenaline-filled event that draws locals and tourists alike, demonstrating courage and camaraderie. These traditions are the heart of the real Spain, a Spain that lives in the souls of its people. When thinking about Spanish rituals, flamenco might be the first thing that comes to mind, but there's so much more. Spain, a country bursting with vibrant culture, has a wealth of traditions that extend beyond the passionate dance of flamenco. Let's dive into these lesser known rituals that are not commonly known to tourists. Let's start with the ancient tradition of Las Falas, Hailing from the city of Valencia, this celebration involves the creation of large, elaborate sculptures called phallus, which are eventually set ablaze in a spectacular display of fire and festivity. These towering infernos, a symbol of renewal and rejuvenation, light up the city's streets, transforming them into a fiery wonderland. Next, we have La Tomatina, an epic tomato-throwing festival in the town of Bunol, here, the streets run red with crushed tomatoes as locals and visitors alike engage in a playful yet messy food fight. This juicy event is a testament to the Spanish love for camaraderie and good-natured fun. 
Then there's El Colacho, a unique tradition from the village of Castrillo de Murcia. In this ritual, men dressed as the devil leap over newborn babies laid out on mattresses in the street. This daring leap is believed to cleanse the babies of original sin, providing them with a fresh start in life. And let's not forget Los Sanfeminas, the famous running of the bulls in Pamplona. This adrenaline fueled event sees participants sprinting ahead of a herd of charging bulls, a thrilling practice rooted in the region's history. So while flamenco might be the first thing that comes to mind when thinking of Spanish rituals, it's clear that Spain's cultural tapestry is woven with an array of unique and vibrant traditions. Each of these rituals, from the fiery Las Falas to the playful La Tomatina, adds depth and diversity to the Spanish culture. These rituals add a unique flavor to the Spanish culture, a flavor that's savored by the locals. Spanish cuisine is famous worldwide, but what does the real Spanish cuisine taste like? Imagine a symphony of flavors, a medley of cultures reflected in each bite. Authentic Spanish cuisine is a tantalizing blend of unexpected surprises, with a rich history steeped in tradition and regional diversity. Each dish is a testament to the Spanish love for life and food. Let's start with a dish that's considered the heart and soul of Spanish cuisine, the paella. Originating from Valencia, this rustic dish is a celebration of Spanish produce, with saffron-infused rice cooked with a variety of meats, seafood and vegetables. But did you know that the true Valencian paella is traditionally made with rabbit, chicken and beans? Each ingredient, meticulously chosen, contributes to a harmonious blend of flavors that tell the tale of Spain's agrarian past. Next, we have tapas, the quintessential Spanish dining experience. But it's more than just a meal. It's a social ritual. The tradition of tapas dates back to the olden days when Andalusian taverns used slices of bread or meat to cover drinks and protect them from flies. Today, tapas range from simple olives or almonds to complex dishes like gambas al achillo, prawns sizzled with garlic and chili. Each tapa is a conversation starter, a shared experience that brings people together. And let's not forget about the humble tortilla española, or Spanish omelette. This simple dish of eggs, potatoes and onions is a staple in every Spanish home. It's a testament to the Spanish philosophy of less is more, where simplicity in ingredients often leads to a richness in taste. Then there's gazpacho, a chilled tomato soup that hails from the hot southern region of Andalusia. This refreshing dish, typically enjoyed in the sweltering summer months, is a reminder of Spain's Moorish history, with its blend of ripe tomatoes, cucumbers, bell peppers and garlic. The real taste of Spain lies not in its fancy restaurants, but in its home kitchens. It's in the laughter and chatter that fills the air as families and friends gather around the table. It's in the love and care that goes into preparing each dish. It's in the stories that are woven into the fabric of every meal. That, dear friends, is the true flavor of Spain. How much does a cup of coffee cost in the real Spain? What about a meal for two? These are questions that may seem simple, but they unravel the complex fabric of everyday life in Spain from a local's perspective. When you step away from the tourist-laden streets and into the heart of Spanish neighborhoods, the cost of living takes on a different hue. In the tourist areas, a cup of coffee can cost you up to three euros. But in the real Spain, where the locals sip their morning brew, you can enjoy a café con leche for just over one euro. It's a small difference in price, but a significant one when you consider the authenticity of the experience. And it's not just about coffee. The cost of a beer in a local bar is often just a bit over one euro, while the tourist hotspots might charge you three times as much. Wine, a cherished Spanish product, is no exception. You can find a good bottle of local wine in a supermarket for less than five euros. But in tourist-focused wine shops, the prices can skyrocket. Now let's talk about food. A meal for two in a local restaurant usually costs between 20 to 30 euros, depending on the region and the type of cuisine. But if you're dining in a restaurant in a touristy area, you might have to shell out up to 100 euros for the same experience. Transportation is another aspect where locals know how to save. A single journey on public transport usually costs less than two euros, while taxis and tourist-focused transport services can cost significantly more. In essence, 
living in Spain as a local offers a different perspective on costs. It's not just about saving money, but also about immersing oneself in the authentic Spanish way of life. It's about the joy of sipping a coffee in a local cafe, enjoying a meal in a neighborhood restaurant, and exploring the city using local transport. Living in Spain as a local gives a whole new perspective on the cost of life. Spain is more than just its beaches and famous landmarks. It has some unexplored corners waiting to be discovered. Venture beyond the beaten path, and you'll find a world teeming with vibrant local life, hidden gems, and untold stories. Let's start in the north, in the region of Galicia. Here you'll find the Fragas do Yuma, a natural park that is one of the best preserved Atlantic forests in Europe. It's a place where the moss-covered trees whisper secrets of ancient times, and the Yume River adds a melodious soundtrack to your exploration. Take a jump over to the south, in Andalusia. Forget about the crowd favorite Seville, and instead head to the white village of Mijas. Nestled in the mountains, this town offers a breathtaking panorama of the Mediterranean Sea. Its cobblestone streets, whitewashed houses, and vibrant flower pots are a visual treat that locals adore. Now let's move east, to the region of Catalonia. Here, the town of Besalú stands as a testament to the medieval era. Its iconic Romanesque bridge, ancient Jewish baths, and well-preserved old town transport you back to times long past. Over in the Balearic Islands, the island of Formentera often gets overlooked in favor of its glitzy neighbor Ibiza. But this tranquil paradise is a favorite among Spaniards, offering pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, and an enchanting natural landscape. Finally, we head to the center, to the region of Castile and Leon, where you can explore the labyrinthine caves of Atapuerca. These caves are a treasure trove of archeological finds shedding light on the earliest human inhabitants of Europe. Each of these places, so rich in history and culture, offers a unique window into the soul of Spain. They are cherished by locals, yet remain relatively unknown to the outside world. So the next time you're planning a trip to Spain, why not step off the well-trodden tourist trail and venture into the unexplored corners? Exploring these places gives a whole new meaning to the Spanish adventure. The Spanish siesta is more than just a nap in the afternoon. Indeed, it is an integral part of Spanish culture, deeply woven into the fabric of daily life. The siesta embodies the Spanish approach to life, reflecting a rhythm that respects human needs while celebrating community and family. The tradition of the siesta originated from Spain's agricultural past, where workers would retreat from the intense midday heat to rest and recuperate. This break in the day was not merely for sleep, but also a time for leisure, family, and friends. In today's modern Spain, the concept of the siesta has evolved, but its essence remains the same. It is a time for relaxation and rejuvenation, a pause in the day to escape from the hustle and bustle. Many businesses, particularly in smaller towns and cities, still close for a few hours in the afternoon, allowing employees to enjoy a leisurely lunch and a brief rest before returning to work. More than just a nap, the siesta is a social ritual. It's a time when families gather around the table for a meal, sharing stories and laughter. For many, it's an opportunity to catch up with friends at a local cafe, to enjoy the simple pleasures of conversation and companionship. However, the siesta also serves a practical purpose. It is a strategy for dealing with the often harsh Spanish climate a way to avoid the hottest part of the day. It's an adaptation that not only enables survival but enhances the quality of life. Despite the encroachment of a non-stop 24-7 global culture, the siesta remains a cherished tradition in many parts of Spain. It is a testament to the Spanish way of life, a philosophy that values balance, well-being and community. And so, the siesta continues to stand as a symbol of Spanish culture an emblem of a lifestyle that prioritizes rest, family, and social connection. The siesta, a quintessential part of Spanish life, is a tradition that truly defines the Spanish lifestyle. So, what sets the real Spain apart from the tourist Spain? Well, we've journeyed through the unseen Spain, we've peeled back the layers to uncover the heart of Spanish traditions, we've danced beyond flamenco and tasted the authenticity of its cuisine. We've seen Spain through the eyes of a local, wandered through its unexplored corners, 
and discovered that there's more to a siesta than just a nap. It's been an enlightening voyage, and we've only scratched the surface of this vibrant, diverse country. The real Spain is a land steeped in tradition. It's where rituals passed down through generations still play a vital role in the everyday life of its people. It's a place where you can feel the pulsating rhythm of flamenco in the air, but also discover the rich tapestry of regional dances that each tell a unique story. The cuisine, oh, the cuisine. It's a gastronomic adventure that goes far beyond paella and tapas. It's a journey through a myriad of flavors, each region offering its own distinct culinary experience. From the hearty stews of the north to the fresh seafood of the coast, it's a feast for the senses. The real Spain is also a place that values the simple pleasures in life. A cup of coffee enjoyed in the company of friends, a glass of wine savored under the Spanish sun, a leisurely meal that stretches into hours. These are the moments that truly define the Spanish way of life. And let's not forget about the unexplored corners of Spain, the quaint villages that dot the landscape, the hidden beaches that offer a tranquil escape, the breathtaking mountains that beckon the adventurous. These are the gems that remain undiscovered by most tourists. Lastly, the siesta. More than just a nap, it's a testament to the Spanish philosophy of living life at a leisurely pace, savoring each moment and finding joy in the simple things. The real Spain is a world full of traditions, rituals and flavors that is waiting for you to explore. So why not venture off the beaten track and discover the Spain that only the Spanish know.